There were a lot of things that weren't conventional about him that, that to be honest, in the beginning I didn't love. Um, luckily my father had a little longer view than I did and saw the potential in him. He's got, you know, overloads of personality and character and sometimes a little spicy. And, you know, he really defied the odds. He was uh, a horse who was always very careful and uh, he was brave, but, but he was a little bit interesting in his way of doing things. But I think he truly understood the sport and what we were asking. And, you know, the idea was to jump clean rounds and he, he certainly jumped a lot of them over the years. I, I'd never been around a horse that's given as much of himself as this horse has. I think the two big moments in his career were certainly the Pan Am Games, um, which was obviously a spectacular victory for him. And probably the most was the World, ch uh, the world Championships in Normandy. You know, he won a lot of big Grand Prix, which is always very important. He delivered and delivered for, for many a year. He's going to BZ and John Madden's uh, new retirement facility. They call it Madden Mountain up there. Uh, we have already Carlos there. We're going to miss him in the string for sure. Um, but, you know, my emotions are happy. I, I don't think it's a sad thing. He's come to a different stage of his life. He looks healthy. Um, he looks vibrant. Uh, he's happy and uh, you know for me I think it's a it's a great thing it's not uh, it's not a terribly sad thing we're gonna miss him for sure and it's wonderful to be able to retire him looking like this you know you can see his freshness and the expression um, he still has a lot of life left. <laughs>